What's going on guys welcome back to another Redmi Note 4 video and in today's video we are going to be installing the MI1 Android 1 ROM for our Redmi Note 4. So I just found it floating around Facebook and I guess I need to make a video on it. As you can see I'm running some random ROM. I just have GBs of ROM downloaded but I never tried them or just make a video on them. But yeah let's just get through the installation of this ROM. So just download the link in the description. You don't need GFs it's included as this has been ported from the MI1 straight. So you will need unlocked bootloader with the top recovery install you can find many videos on that now let's just put into the top recovery by holding our volume up and power button at the same time and this firmware is actually built on 7.9.23 as you can see i have red wolf recovery over here to the wipe advanced wipe direct system data cache cursed you don't need to wipe your internal storage or the micro sd card just swipe to wipe done go back go to the install just search for your rom swipe to install and this should take around five minutes and the only bugs over here are no no Volti and no fingerprint scanner for the Godex. So for example me, unfortunately both of my Redmi Note 3 and the Note 4 are actually Godex models. So if you have a FPC fingerprint scanner, you are basically okay. And also the Volti is not working. We still have to try whether the standard Volti patch works or not. Else we have to just wait for the developer. And yeah, that was quick. It only took like one minute. So you have to just hit reboot system. If it asks for the top app, just hit do not install. But as I'm running Red Wolf, it didn't ask for anything. As you can see, am I low? Go. there you go the all new boot animation again under one minute the phone has been finally booted up like damn this phone is quick but let's go skip setup as new wi-fi networks there you go wi-fi is working sorry for the brightness you can't actually control it through the setup i guess that's good maybe a little yeah skip skip next skip oh wait let's just try add a fingerprint and yep goodix doesn't work you need fpc in order to get this working skip anyway next as you can see you have the mi services over here all set add finishing touches and there you go you are finally been booted up but yeah there you go there are the set of apps over here let's just check out the camera as you can see even if you go to the settings you have 4k recording as standard over here which is pretty good all of the settings from the mi a1 are fully working you have the straight and manual camera and each and every other stuff such as the focus and things going to the settings you don't have anything new over here going to the display you don't even get night light you just get the display size and other stuff you get the screen saver ambient display again standard stuff nothing new and you also have this MI services. I guess this has been added on to the latest update because when I did the MI A1 review, this was not present. Android 7.1.2, still not Oreo, which is quite bad. As you can see, you also have this search launcher over here. If you go to the wallpapers, you have Xiaomi wallpaper such as this one. This is the standard one for the MI A1. Then this, this. Again, just the standard wallpapers, nothing new. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I guess you have all of these things working over here, such as the MI remote and stuff. I have checked it. And pretty much everything is just the same. The ROM is snappy. Again, you have all of the stock apps over here. This was a quick little video on how you can install MI A1 ROM on your Redmi Note 4. Hope you guys enjoyed and see you in the next one. Peace.